And we're back. The quest for state basketball championships continued on Friday night at the Coliseum. 2A and 5A titles on the line today. We're going to start with the 5A girls final. Holmes County Central taking on Laurel for the championship. We fast forward to the third quarter and Kyra Mitchell tough layup bringing the Jacks within five late in the third. Holmes County with the chance. Then the final minute Jerry Brees Jerry Brees getting getting to the cup one point game Kelsey Andrews the seventh grader with a chance to win the title with some seconds left but she misses both free throws Jacks are down one Lana Greer knows hey they let one slip away the seventh grader should get more chances to win games for Holmes County but Laurel comes out with the 39 36 win and they get their first ever state title and in the boys 5A final in the night cap Holmes County Central trying to bring a title home, but they face Lake Cormorant. Of course, they beat Callaway earlier in the tournament. Lee Craigler hits from outside to give the Jags a slim lead, but the Gators answer right back. Draper Newell bangs one in from the corner, and this game was tied at halftime. But in the second half, the Jazz got separation. Luzavius Thomas with the follow-up bucket. The Gators would cut a double-digit deficit down to three late as Keithy and Brooks scores, but Quayshon Rowe, he will finish for Holmes County, and the Jags finish as well. They take it 64 to 58. They claim the 5A state championship. I think it was the pressure later on. We couldn't make free throws, so that's why we struggled. Then we had to close out a game. It was a struggle, but we made it happen. Feels good. Uh, it's been a struggle throughout the season due to COVID and all the other issues, but we stuck together and we, we pushed through. The goal was to win state. One game at a time, it happened. We made history. We made history. Uh, I want to thank, first, I want to thank Holmes County. I, I, the support was real tonight. It's for Holmes County. This is the first state title in school history for the Jags. Congrats. Earlier in the day, in the 2A girls final, the defending champion Calhoun City Wildcats faced New Sight. Hannah Stevens of New Sight, well, she was on one. She banks a three. She had a game high 19 points and got MVP honors. But Quay Bailey and the Wildcats ward all the way back. Conley Langford with the steal and the pass to Bailey, who scores and the foul. Just a two point game. But she missed the free throw in Calhoun City. They just run out of time. New Sight, New Sight wins their first title since 2012 with a 55 to 50 win. In the boys 2A final, the Newton Tigers took on the Coahoma County Panthers. It was a game of runs in the first half. Newton made a push in the second quarter as Ravion Nettles gets the and one inside, and he was amped about it. Tigers down by just two at the break, but the Panthers, they had the final say. Jamil Daniels drives and finds Tylen Martin. That's a good idea. He led all players with 16 points. Derek Morris Panthers win 46-40, and they win back-to-back -back championships. And led also tonight in the MIS Girls Overall Tournament, Hartfield and Clinton Christian at MRA. The Warriors, they will make it a 12-point game in the second half. They fought back for the Hawks, would hold them off. Reagan Tucker getting the steal and the layup for the Hawks. Hartfield advances to the semifinals with a 50-37 win over Clinton Christian. And remember, you can watch all the state championships Starting tomorrow at 1 o'clock on MeTV Jackson, the state tournaments end tomorrow night. You can catch all the action on MeTV Jackson starting at 1 o'clock. Don't miss it. That'll do it for sports. We'll be back after this.